it was an all-Australian final. As Labour, on the right, and Mulligan came on to the centre court, they bowed to the Queen. To see the title match, Her Majesty was in the Royal Box. Mulligan's service held no terrors for the champion Rod Laver. From the start, the big crowd on the centre court realised that Laver was serving up power tennis in the manner of the great Wimbledon champions. Mulligan nets, point to Laver. Laver, this end, won the first two sets and was now well on the way to victory in the third, though dropping a point here and there. Mulligan was hopelessly outclassed, but grimly stuck to his task. Laver serving. Point here to Mulligan. With the Queen in the royal box were Princess Margaret and Princess Marina. Laver now led 5-1 in set three. Laver lobs a sitter, but Mulligan nets. Mulligan serving, Matt point to Laver. Again, Mulligan nets. Laver wins in straight sets. Her Majesty herself came onto the court to present the trophy, the cup that goes with the Wimbledon title, the most prized of all in world tennis. The Queen spoke for everybody when she congratulated that great player, Rod Laver. Next day, the women's final, Karin Zussman on the left against Vera Sukova of Czechoslovakia, conqueror of Angela Mortimer, Darlene Hard and Maria Bueno. Karin Zussman serving. Point to Vera Sukova. Zussman serving. Point to Sukova. <laughs> Missy Sukova at the far end lost the first set for six. She was now limping, the result of a fall in her hotel the day before. An injury was again helping to decide the women's final. <laughs> Sussman serving. Sukova can't hope to win now, but she sticks to it and wins a point. Match point. Zukova can't move fast enough to reach it, so the 19-year-old Californian girl, Karin Zussman, wins. There to present the trophy is Princess Marina. A wonderful triumph for a girl of 19, and while everyone sympathized with her opponent from Czechoslovakia, there was all-round congratulations for Karen Sussman, winner of the Wimbledon title.